Hello and welcome back to 3ABN Summer Camp Meeting. We've been having a great time in the Lord this week, haven't we? Oh, it's been wonderful. The sermons, the music, everything, the Lord, the intimacy with the Lord, the focus yeah. on God has been really amazing. The anointing of the Holy Spirit. Amen. It's been not only in the sermons, but the music. I mean, all of it really mm -hmm. is great. Thank you for allowing us into your home again, as you do each and every day. And thank you for your love and your prayers and financial support. Because without that, we would all just be here on stage by ourselves and nobody to sing to. But because of your help, we're able to get this undiluted three angels messages, one that would counteract the counterfeit into all the world. Jesus said, go ye into all the world. And then it says the end, but we like to say the beginning, right? right? The end That's of right. this world, but the beginning yeah. of life everlasting. Well, we're so glad again that you're joining us and we're glad with the musical group now, folks have been seeing, of course, we got Pastor John and Ryan, and Billy and Big Jean and Reggie and Lady and Celestine, but we've added a few, Yvonne. We've added Brother Kenny over here. All right. How you doing, bro? Oh, I'm loving it. It's all good. You loving it? That's Kenny. Being blessed. Isn't that right? Kenny, no matter what you say, he'll say, oh, it's beautiful. Yeah. You know, no matter it's what. It's all good. Yeah, yeah. Brother Ronnie, how you doing? Good, good. Let me echo him. Just everything is beautiful. Everything's beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. At our age, everything's looking good. <laughs> everything's looking good. Yeah. We don't see, see too well. But, this, <laughs> but it's, no, in the spirit, everything's good, right? In the spiritual. <laughs> Sister Tammy, how about you? I'm doing good. I'll just echo what they said, though I'm not as old as them, but, yeah. you know. Oh, well, okay. Oh. Well, you got a, how many of you got, how many of you got brothers or sisters here? Anybody? Okay, you know what that's like, right? We, we always do that. And don't get uptight. We just have a little fun with each other. Tammy and I used to, we'd say things back and forth, and people say, you shouldn't talk to your sister that way. I'm like, okay. All right, we won't. All right. No, but we're glad. Thank you, Tim, for you being here, too, because without you, we would be in real trouble. So what we'd like to do, I think we're going to start out with an old song, and we want everybody at home to sing and everybody here, Love Lifted Me.
Good job, Tim. That's, that's power. We're trying isn't to keep it? you on your uh, <laughs> on your toes here. On my toes. Speaking of that, on my play a little bit more of that for us. Just go through a verse or chorus of it. The Tim Parton style. watching now if they weren't happy they're happy by now i hope right absolutely well, what we're going to do now we're going to do a song it's about the only song that uh, tammy and kenny and ronnie and me and me know together and i think we've done another song or two in our lifetime but our mother as when we were kids no matter what we had to sing a quartet so ronnie was telling big gene he said something like i don't want to paraphrase but I was a, not necessarily a bass, but somebody had to sing bass, so they gave it to me. So Ronnie's the bass. We've been calling him Gene Jr. So, all right? So um, we're going to do, it was my mom's favorite song. I think we did this for a funeral, too, didn't we? Because this is what she always wanted us to sing. And so when we think about it, it kind of gets to you and all of us. What a day that will be. So you all join us on the chorus, if you would. Sure. Kenny, you got the lead, right? is coming a day when no heartache shall come, no more clouds in the sky, no more tears to dim the eye, all is peace forevermore on that happy golden shore, what a day, glorious day. That will be all right, everybody now. What a day that will be when my Jesus I shall see. day that will be. I'm going to turn around and I love these folks because there is spontaneity here, but Big Gene, tell us a little bit. I'm sure that song means a lot to you and I'm sure you're looking forward to Jesus and uh, second coming. And uh, tell us what's on your mind. I'm ready to go. 
All right. And uh, just very grateful that God has given me the opportunity to live for him. And all we have to do is just ask. And he, he wants us to praise him forever. And so I'm praying that God allows me to do that the rest of my life. All right, praise the Lord. Reggie, what's on your heart right now? Talk to the folks at home. Man, first of all, I'm so grateful to be with my friends and family here at 3ABN. We've been with you a long time now, yes, Danny. Sir. Many, many we years and traveling around the world, and we're just so grateful. Because you know what? We get to tell the good news. Yeah all of us together and we get to sing and speak about the good news and I'm just excited here hearing the good news from everybody all these pastors and singers and everybody and and Tim playing is just amazing it's transport so you know God is good and we get the opportunity to tell the good news that's yeah, amazing absolutely brother Ronnie give us word amen it is a wonderful opportunity to again to meet with those that are looking for that day, just as we are. Yeah. We all have lived through some hard times, but we know that there's a day coming that soon he will come back in those clouds and take his faithful people home. Brother Ken. Amen. Praise the Lord. I love that song. What a day that will be. And I know from very early on, we were encouraged to look forward to the day when Jesus would come. Mm -hmm. And most of all, mom would always say, yeah, I want you boys ready. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and th there would be correction along the way. And I was yes. always grateful and thankful for that. I needed it. Called day, a belt. day by day, I needed it. It was a belt. Thankful for, yeah, thankful for a mom and dad to care, <laughs> to love me, to put me my belt feet on the prayers. right path. Yeah, and to make heaven our home. And I'm praying each one of you are making that decision right now. We want heaven to be our home. I pray the camp meeting has been such a, a joy that they've heard the messages and the songs that people have turned their life over to him. May God bless each and every one. I look forward, won't see you in this life maybe, but in the life to come. All right. Just Tammy. got me choked up a little bit thinking about singing it at our mom's funeral. Um, the day she passed, we were around her bed and we sang this because this was her her favorite thing, and I don't know where any of us would be without such wonderful parents, uh, such wonderful Christian parents, and uh, she, they set the example. That's the thing. They didn't just tell us what to do. They set the example, and she'll be gone 22 years this month, and I miss her every day, and I can't wait when, to when Jesus comes and we can see our mother and father again. What a day to sing it. What a day. So many of us have lost loved ones, and I often think of the resurrection. I think of what it's going to be like when the trumpet sounds and the dead in Christ rise first, and then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. And so I do comfort myself with those words because those words give me hope of a future, of an eternity. This is just a vapor. Our lives here are just a vapor. But one day soon and very soon, we will see the King. And I so look forward to that because we all, I think we all have loved ones that we've lost. And so we know that this is not the end. And it doesn't have to be the end for you either. If you haven't accepted Jesus Christ as your Savior, please do that. Please know that once you do that, you will have eternal life. If you abide in Christ, you will have eternal life. So be strong, be hopeful, be encouraged, and know that this is not the end. It's not the end. It's the beginning. All right. And I want to thank um, all the folks that traveled a long ways and... Uh, all of you and Melody, and she's back over here. She's going to sing in a little bit, but some of y'all got to get traveling back uh, home. 
And uh, so we're gonna let you go. They've been such a blessing this camp meeting. I can almost, they've been a blessing. I can almost hear you saying amen <laughs> at home. But uh, thank you so much. We love each and every one of you for being here and traveling with us. So Yvonne, we're gonna leave you out here and you're gonna bless us in just a moment and we're all gonna leave you. Oh, but oh. not for long, okay. not for long. All right, okay. good, all, all right. right. I was watching a video earlier today and it featured a young man who was doing all these different things, thinking that he could draw closer to God. He decided to, even though he's married, he decided to take a vow of poverty and live in poverty and just do some other things, thinking that this is going to draw him closer to the Lord. And maybe he's hoping that the Lord will love him more if he does these things. But you need to know that our Jesus did everything that needed to be done. All we need to do is invite him into our lives and then keep him as the center of our lives. And if we do that, we're going to be with him forever. We don't have to jump through a whole bunch of hoops because Jesus paid it all. He did everything that needed to be done. What we need to do is give him time. Give the Holy Spirit his time to transform us. Spend some time with the Lord Jesus every day and watch your life change. But we don't have to jump through all these hoops because everything that Jesus did was enough for our salvation. We look to him. It's not about our work so much. It's about what he did. Think about his sacrifice and the fountain filled with blood. It was
What a wonderful Savior we serve to live for Him, to sing of His praises, to sing for Him and to play for Him. That has, um, my life is complete. And um, there was a great song I remember singing as a, as a kid in church. It was a, um, out of the hymnal, page 89. And it uh, just rejoiced over our salvation. And we love to sing it. It had a bit of a, a swing to it. And um, it goes like this. If you know it, sing along. It says, I found a friend who is all to me. His love is ever true. I love to tell how he lifted me and what his grace can do for you saved by 
by his power divine saved to new life sublime life now is sweet and my joy is complete for i'm saved 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 when poor and needy and all alone in love he said to me come on to me and i'll lead you home to live with me eternally saved by his power divine saved to new life sublime Life now is sweet and my joy is complete for I'm saved 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 I always loved that song it was just fun to sing and we just held the saved saved just to hear the congregation uh, just rejoicing at the top of their voices because they were saved and uh, I have a rendition of that that's a little piano solo and I think since I'm just here by myself <laughs> and with you, we'll, um, we'll have some fun with this, all right? Amen. If you're saved and you know it, shout amen. Amen? Amen. <laughs> and if you are saved and you are a child of God, then I know without a shadow of a doubt that you have experienced the goodness of God. I love you, Lord, for your mercy never fails me. All my days, I've been held in your hands. From the moment that I wake up until I lay my head, oh, I will sing of the goodness of God. And all my life, you have been faithful. All my life you have been so, so good With every breath that I am able Oh, I will sing of the goodness of God I love your voice have led me through the fire and in the darkest night you are close 
like no other. I've known you as a father, and I've known you as a friend, and I have lived in the goodness of God. Oh, all my life you have been faithful, and all my life you have been so, so good. With every breath that I am able, oh, I will sing of the goodness of God. Because your goodness is running after, it's running after me. Your goodness is running after, it's running after me. With my life laid down, I'm surrendered now. I give you everything. Your goodness is running after, it's running after me. And all my life, you have been faithful. And all my life, you have been so, so good with every breath that I am able I will sing of the goodness of God Oh, I'm gonna sing of the goodness of God Amen. Thank you, Brother Tim. I'm going to ask uh, my daughter Melody to come out. And about every, I don't know, two or three years or something, we do <laughs> we do a song together that uh, she wrote, you and Dave Lehman. And it's I Know the Plans. And uh, what made you pick that scripture? Uh, Jeremiah It's my 20. favorite. Yeah? So you just decided to write a song about mm -hmm. it? Yeah. It's a be beautiful song. And uh, thank you for what you do for the uh, cause of God. And I'm thankful that after all these years, you're still singing for Jesus and not out in the world because you got the talent and ability. You could have been out doing other things, but you're still serving the Lord and teaching your kids so. And now we got a, I've got a great grandson and you're a grandma now. How's that feel? I'm Nona. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you're liking oh, it? Oh, yeah. I love it. Yeah. They always say with grandparents, you can love them and leave them, but I don't know. But sometimes you just want to just stay there, yeah. right? The mother instinct, I'm sure this, this uh, woman's raised uh, eight children, and uh, that's amazing. And uh, Uncle Olin had 12. We thought that was a lot. And you, what did you say about him? He was kind of absent-minded sometimes, and you said if you... I know why, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> From all the kids, yeah. <laughs> so you kind of just don't center in on everything, right? Okay, well, we're going to sing this song that she wrote. It's called um, I Know the Plans. It comes from Jeremiah 29, 11, right? Mm -hmm. seem hopeless the darkness closes in you're tired and you're weary as you look at where you've been you can see beyond the present when you're looking at the past you thought things would turn out differently then you hear God say at last I know the plan To give you hope and a future, lead you on life's journey. Call on me and I will see you through. I know the plans I have for you. The rock 
rocks and cliffs may leave some scars you thought too deep to heal. You're desperate and you're broken, and life seems all too real. The road may take you on a path that changes all your plans, but that's when God takes over and says, leave it in my hands. I know the plans I have for you, and they are plans to prosper you, to give you hope and a future. God definitely has plans for each and every one of our lives. And today, I hope that you ask the Lord, Lord, what is it you would have me to do in these closing moments of earth's history?
has proved his love to me when I lack the understanding he gives more grace to me my redeemer is faithful and true everything he has said he is faithful and true my redeemer is faithful and true Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Oh, man, I tell you, camp meeting is such a special time. And as you can see, we've been able to sing about the love of Christ. We're focusing on God. And I love this next song that I'm going to sing because it actually was sung by my father. It was changed just slightly uh, to be sung by my father um, at his, at his wedding to my mother. And uh, he sang this to my mother on their wedding day. And it's entitled, You Gave Me Love. But it was originally written as a gospel song. And uh, my father just changed the lyrics just a little bit. And he sung the words as if he's singing them to my mother. But uh, Tim, you and I have, have performed this song before, only once. And I have to just brag a little bit on my friend Tim here because uh, just a few minutes ago we were we were planning this and and we have only performed this once and it was I think over a year ago, and then he just charted it out really quickly, wow. and and here we are. So <laughs> this is are. kind of new new for both of us. I guess it's been a little while since we've done this song, but I love the w words of this song, the lyrics because it talks about how he's speaking to the Lord. He's saying, "You gave me time when no one gave me time of day." You know, you, you look deep inside when the, when the rest of the world looked away. That's the kind of God that we serve. We serve a God of love. The Bible says God is love. He's not like us in the sense that we are capable of expressing loving qualities in the sense that we can say our grandmother is loving, our, our father is loving, you know, our friends are loving. But the Bible says God is love. And I love the, the, the words of this song. I hope it blesses you as much as it has me. You gave me love. gave me time when no one gave me time of day you looked deep inside while the rest of the world looked away you smiled at me when there were just frowns everywhere Nobody gave me a prayer. That's why I call you Savior. That's why I call you friend. You touched my heart. You touched my soul. And helped me to start over again. me love when nobody gave me a prayer mm. you gave me laughter after I cried all my tears you heard all my dreams while the rest of the world closed its ears in your eyes 
And I found all the tenderness there Praise you, Lord. Amen. Beautiful. Thank you, Ryan. Thank you, Tim. Beautiful. Well, we only have about five minutes left of this music hour, and this has been, I'm always blessed, aren't you, when you get so many people coming in, and these folk, and I want the, the, our brothers and sisters at home to know that we don't just choose people here because of their musical abilities, mm. but people that we get to know that mm -hmm. have given their life to ministry, mm -hmm. and Many of these that you see, they make their living out, you know, singing mm -hmm. and uh, ministering more than singing, they're ministering. And so we want you to know that these folk are real. What you see is what you get. And yet the talent that's here is, I don't, I don't see anything like it in the world. I'm thankful, Tim, that you and the rest of them and all of you and you, yes. Yvonne, you've been out in the world. And yeah. you, you, I know at home, because won't, she won't let me even put them on my... The, the walls at the house, but she has seven gold and platinum records, but uh, you're one of those I guess I'm talking about, and you're happier now than ever before? You can't compare what we're doing for Jesus with what we did in the world, what I did in the world. There's no comparison. This, this life is so much more fulfilling because you're doing something that matters, that, mm -hmm. that makes a difference for someone else for eternity. Yeah. And that, to me, there's nothing that compares to that. And to be able to share Jesus Christ with people who don't know about him is such a blessing. Yeah. And it's the mending, mending people theme that we have here. I want to spend my life yeah, mending broken, broken people. people. Maybe we can do a little bit of it. When I see my brother stumble and all his dreams crumble, let me be there, for I, I too fail. And when I see his heart breaking, from a wrong turn he's taking Let me be there For I remember well I want to spend my life Mending broken people Ending broken 
people. Let's do that chorus again. I want to spend my life bending broken people. I want to spend my life removing pain. Lord, let my words heal a heart that hurts. I want to spend my life mending broken people. I want to spend my whole life mending broken people what a privilege to serve the lord yes it is it brings tears to your and eyes to be, be in a ministry that we have the opportunity joining hands with their folks at home to mm -hmm. reach out to so many people. I wish they could see the emails and the letters and the phone calls of people whose lives have been changed mm -hmm. through the power and through the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. And yes. thanks to you for your That's love right. and your prayers and financial support that make that all possible. That's right. We can't do it without you, but we can partner with you and share the gospel, the good news of Jesus Christ around the world. Absolutely. Well, we're going to take a break, but we're going to be back in just a few moments, so don't go away. We'll see you then.